out by priming my face with the Lancome La Base Pro Primer. And this is just going to help my makeup stay on all day in that heat at the baseball game. So I'm just applying this all over my face. Next, I'm applying foundation using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and actually, while I am very pale, the foundation I was using was just a shade too light for me, so I'm not really going to go into details about it because I need to go exchange that and find a better shade for me. But I'm just going to place this foundation all over my face and blend it in a little bit with this Expert Face Brush, and then using a Beauty Blender, I'm just really going to go in and make sure it's 100% blended in. Next, I'm just applying a concealer to those areas where I need a little bit more coverage. Once again, I got a brand new foundation and concealer, and this concealer is too light for me, so I'm not really going to go into details about it, but I'm just taking the concealer and blending it in with a Sonia Kashuk concealer brush, and then I'm going to go and take my beauty blender and just blend it in even more. And as I always say with the Beauty Blender, remember to pat to blend everything in and do not rub or pull because that can destroy your Beauty Blender. Then to brighten that under the eye area, I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. And this is in the shade Brightener Illuminator 160. Uh, this product also comes in normal concealer shades too if this is way too bright for you. But just applying that under the eyes in kind of a triangular motion and then putting a little bit on my forehead to even out the highlight. And then I'm just blending this all in with the Beauty Blender. Next, to set that under the eye area, I'm going in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette, and I'm taking those two kind of top middle shades, the very white one and then the banana kind of color shade. I'm just mixing them together on a Real Techniques setting brush and just patting that right underneath my eye where I just brightened. And then I'm applying powder, so I'm going in with the Clinique Stay Matte Powder in the color Stay Beige, and I'm applying this all over my face where I didn't already apply that highlight color, and I'm just applying it using a Real Techniques powder brush. If you guys are looking for a new powder brush, I seriously recommend this brush. Like, I love it so much. Then, because the foundation was too light, I'm going in with this NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer, and I'm starting off by applying this right along my hairline on my forehead, and then I'm going to kind of do the shape of a number three to apply this to my temples and also in the hollows of my cheeks. To make the hollows of my cheeks a little more contoured, I am just taking that Real Techniques setting brush and putting a little bit of that really light shade underneath that bronzer for a contour. And now I'm going in with the Hot Mama Blush by The Balm Cosmetics using a Real Techniques blush brush and just applying this on the apples of my cheeks in circular motions. I know I've been using this blush a ton, but I'm seriously in love with it. Then for a highlight, I'm going in with Mary Luminizer, which is also by The Balm Cosmetics. And I'm just applying this on the tops of my cheekbones. It's just going to give you a really, really pretty glow. For the eyes, I'm starting off by priming my lids with the Herb Decay Primer Potion in the shade Original. And then I'm going in with this kind of grayish taupe color from the Maybelline The Blush Nudes palette. And I'm just applying this with my finger all over my lids. And I'm actually thinking of doing a review video on this palette. I've done a couple tutorials on my channel here using it. And so I'm thinking of doing a review, so comment down below if you would like to see that. For the crease, I'm going in with this matte pinky kind of color in the palette and just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions from the crease all the way up almost until the eyebrow. I am leaving a little bit of a gap there and I'm just blending this using a Morphe M330 blending brush and then I'm taking this lightest silver color in the palette and going back into the crease just to provide a little bit more of a transition between that taupish color and that light pink. 
make this look a little bit darker, I'm taking this darker gray color and just applying this in the outer V of the eye. I'm not doing this very, very heavily. I don't want this to be some bold, smoky eye look, but just enough where it provides a little bit more definition in that outer corner. And then once again, just blending back and forth with that M330 brush to just blend everything out. And then I'm just lining my lower lash line with a NARS black eyeliner and then applying mascara to those lower lashes. And this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, which I have been loving lately. I just love the wand on this brush. It is really great and it's something I also might do a review on soon. I applied my gel eyeliner off camera because it is such a struggle to do that on camera. And then I'm taking the same mascara, applying it to the upper lash line, and putting on a pair of Ardell Wispies. Now you definitely do not need to use falsies. I just like to do them because I just think that they look so, so pretty. And these ones actually look like natural. They just make your eyelashes look fuller. And I applied these using a dual eyelash adhesive that I've been loving lately. And then it's time to fill in the brows. I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe, and I've just kind of sped through this because I know that everyone fills in their brows differently. I focus more on the end of my brow and then do it lighter as I get closer to the middle of my face. If you guys do want to see my brow routine though, comment down below and I will definitely do a video for you guys on that. And then I'm taking this white kind of color in the palette and just applying this in the inner corner of my eyes just to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm just using a little Sonia Kashuk brush to do this and I did end up kind of going in and applying some with my finger as well just to get a little bit brighter kind of look because the brush wasn't picking up a ton of product. Uh, and then I'm going in with this lipstick. It is in the shade Seduce Scarlet. I believe it's by CoverGirl. I will have it all linked down below, so don't worry. But just applying this all over the lips. I love this color red. Like, I'm not a huge fan of reds that tend to have orange undertones. And I would say this is a red that tends to have more of a blue undertone. And I just think it's so gorgeous. It makes my teeth look so white. And I just really love this. And I just think it looks so cute for a baseball game. So that's the completed makeup part of this Get Ready With Me. So I'm just going to show you kind of how everything turned out. And then we'll get into hair. So as you can tell, I straightened my hair. I didn't feel like that was necessary to show on camera because it's really boring to be honest. And now I'm just taking a strand of my hair, breaking it into two pieces, and then I'm just twisting the two together to create this really cute kind of twist. And I'm just going to take two mini bobby pins, which I already showed you, and just crisscross them over each other to keep this in place. I actually ended up wearing a hat to the baseball game, but if you're a person who doesn't like to wear hats, then this gives you an option for a very cute and easy hair look. Then for my outfit, I threw on a baseball cap. My top is from Francesca's. My jeans are from Abercrombie. My shoes are Converse. My bracelet is Kate Spade. And then my crossbody is Marc Jacobs. <laughs> 